Hello and welcome to my review of the Ishin FPV kit. Uh, first I want to thank banggood.com for uh, sending this to me. This is a kit made out of a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter is uh, compact size. It uh, works on uh, 5.8 GHz frequency. You can see it here. Very small, very light. It has uh, buttons for uh, easy adjust of frequency and channel. On the back side you have labeled pins for the connection. It has uh, voltage in, ground, video and also has power output for your camera. Uh, just a notice, uh, this uh, outputs uh, 12 volts. So it's uh, not uh, good for uh, a 5 volt camera. You need to add uh, an additional uh, voltage regulator for 5 volts camera. So take notice of this. Let's see what else is in the transmitter box. In the transmitter box we have its antenna and also the cable. It's a simple antenna like on wireless routers, omnidirectional. And we have a cable. This is a video and uh, also power cable. It takes power through this connector. And uh, here it's uh, the yellow wire, it's the video signal and uh, black wire, it's uh, common ground for video signal and power. And the red wire, it's for supplying power to your camera. So this is the transmitter, I'm gonna put this aside. Now let's see the receiver. The receiver is this. Comes in a nice aluminium case. Also has buttons here for easy selecting the channel and frequency antenna and also has two video outputs, audio and video outputs and a 12 volt input. In the box we will find also a cable, video cable and audio cable. This is the power cable. All right, power cable goes in and of course antenna for it. We also have a small manual Small but useful. We have a table for the frequencies and channels and also a basic wiring diagram for the transmitter and the receiver. We have a small schematics and some information about this. It, uh, the stated uh, output power of the transmitter is uh, 600 milliwatts of power. Well, to make this work and to make a short test of it of how to connect and use it, you will gonna need some other accessories. I'm gonna use a uh, old uh, compact camera, but this one actually has uh, live uh, audio and video output, so it's very useful for uh, this kind of test. I'm going to use a small LCD monitor that has uh, input for uh, this kind of signal. And I'm going to need also a lot of cables and uh, power regulators and uh, touch on to make this fit. The camera and also I'm gonna use two small LiPo batteries one for powering up the receiver and one for powering up the transmitter all right I'll make the connections right about now I'm going to unclutter them a bit this is uh, done by me cable it's a adapter for powering up the monitor it goes like this this one, it's a USB plug as the monitor takes only 5 volts. This is a voltage regulator that has a variable input. It can take from uh, anything from uh, 6 to 24 volts input and it will uh, output a steady 5 volts with 3 amps. So this connects here. And uh, I have soldered to it a plug for my LiPo battery. Okay, this will power up the monitor. I'm going to power from the same battery also the receiver. I'm gonna unwind these cords to have better mobility. Okay, so this is the receiver. Uh, to power the receiver with this plug, I have also an adapter cable this is a cable made for little quads that plug into the main LiPo battery balancing plug and we have multiple outputs to power up small loads like LEDs 
but it's also useful in this case as the receiver does not uh, need a lot of uh, power at once so the plug it will be more than fine so I'm going to plug in the receiver the receiver is plugged in I'm going to plug also the monitor in and the monitor is also on power it like this I'm gonna put it closer right uh, anyway like this for you to see better so the receiver is powered on you can change the channel from here as you can see 8 channels and the frequency also let's select anything like 22 ok random so we are going to power up the transmitter but we first need to connect it to the camera uh, this uh, compact camera has uh, its own proprietary connector as it's a Sony it has this connector but it has output RC RC connector RCA connector and I did a small adapter for this I'm going to plug this just a moment let's see this is the video signal and it's plugged in also the common ground goes here and video signal is grounded I got this connector this one will take this connector from the video camera it's plugged in okay now I'm going to power on the transmitter uh, you must be careful the transmitter must never be turned on without its antenna attached if you turn it on without the antenna you can burn its electronics or release magic smoke as some people say and once you release magic smoke blue magic smoke you can never recover to put it back on the circuit board it will be dead so camera is connected with its connector awkward placing of a connector like this okay and now we are going to power on the transmitter the transmitter is powered on uh, we need to select the same channel like the receiver we'll select 22 channel 22 is selected and now we are going to turn on the camera camera is turned on uh, I'm going to select the monitor okay uh, type uh, signal type and check the wiring well there is no signal because I forgot to actually connect the receiver to the monitor I'm going to plug in the connector and from the receiver cable I'm gonna connect the video and audio cables so this monitor now is actually connected to the receiver and now I'm going to try to power on the camera once again and we have image and its color image uh, this uh, also has a small microphone on the board as you can see and uh, transmits not only image but also sound to the receiver it does not have a separate audio input but its microphone it's enough for uh, small toys or quads or even big uh, uh, models you don't need a separate microphone in most of the cases this one will do the job properly so image quality is uh, very good uh, it's hard to uh, see from the camera but I can tell you that it's pretty accurate it uh, has good focus but also this depends on the camera uh, on this camera I actually have optical zoom so it's uh, kind of nice you can use this transmitter with uh, a lot of uh, builds uh, like quads, quad drones, uh, tanks, cars and uh, also you can use it on uh, 
other uh, things like uh, car reversing system, interphones, video phones and so on. So it does not have a single purpose, it's a multiple purpose kit. You can use it in uh, a lot of situations and it actually works very good. I'm going to do a build, a test build with all this included on a phantom drone to see how it works and uh, how the image is uh, transmitted over a greater distance. This actually is very close. This is a transmitter, this is a receiver, so this is not actually a test. This is just to show you how it works and how to connect it, if you understand this mess. But if you are watching this video, probably you understand what uh, this is. So, uh, see you in the other part. Bye-bye.